in this short video, I try to see how close I can get to the original published velocities for the US Burton style bullet used widely in the American Civil War and the British Enfield cartridge used extensively in the British and Confederate armies. I use the historic service charge, 60 grains of rifle powder. I'm using Swiss 1F. The Lyman old style bullet mold that I use is pretty close to the historical bullet, but not exactly. Historically, the bullets were swaged, not cast, and they weighed about 500 grains. The Lyman old style bullet only weighs 460, which helps explain why our velocities were a little higher than the historic figure. Well, that just worked beautifully. Our velocity of 1258 is within half a percent of the historic figure of 1265. I love it when experimental archaeology confirms we're doing it right. To recap, the Burton was measured at about 990 feet per second and the Pritchett at 1258. Here's the exact details about the loads I used. Happily, experimental archaeology confirms that my recreated service cartridges are pretty much the exact equivalents of the originals, and that's useful to know. And while I'll probably get a lot of hate mail for saying this, it also confirms the Burton bullet is ballistically inferior to the Pritchett. The difference between 960 and 1260 might not seem like a lot, but it really is when you're talking about military service rifles firing at long battlefield distances. The Burton is 20% slower than the Pritchett, which significantly shortens the dangerous space. The dangerous space is the distance that a bullet in flight stays within the height of an average soldier as the bullet falls to earth. In other words, it's the length of ground in which you can actually hit an enemy at distance. A faster bullet has a flatter trajectory, and this means a longer dangerous space. This is what made smokeless powder so revolutionary. 
it doubled the speed of rifle bullets. In the American Civil War context, this is all purely academic. Because of the absurdly short ranges most Civil War battles were fought at, it didn't really matter if the velocity was 900 or 1200 feet per second. <laughs>